This is Larry with Man Cave Mayhem. Today, uh, I'm working on my wife's scooter again before our big scooter trip. Right here, I um, am prepping this windscreen. Uh, you can see it comes all the way up to here, and I'm gonna bring it down to this line here. What I've done is I, I took some of this painter's tape, and I actually taped it up here so I could uh, run it along this edge here to get the same pattern, and then I moved it down here uh, trying to keep it as centered as possible. Um, I mean, if you were going to get real picky, which I'm not because my wife doesn't seem to care and neither do I, but we're, we're pretty centered up here. And as you can see, that's going to bring that windscreen down about probably four or five inches, and, which will help a lot in uh, the wind resistance that we're running into with this. This windscreen's kind of rated for like 60 miles an hour max. So uh, I've read a lot of places. I've seen a lot of people cut these with jigsaws. I'm going to go ahead and try to use a Dremel tool. Uh, and with that Dremel tool, uh, I'll show you what I'm going to use to cut it. All right, so I've got a couple cutting devices that I'll probably use, but I, I think what I'm going to start out was with this th uh, thin uh, metal cutting blade here. Uh, and it's what I have in the box, and that's what I'm going to try. I also have kind of some sandpaper that I'll probably hit it with after I cut it. Um, it's probably going to melt that plastic and it might be kind of tough to get it apart but we're going to go ahead and give it a shot and see again this is a easy lock cutting blade uh inch and a half uh, diameter and i'm just going to use it on my regular dremel tool here so that's what we're going to do we're going to get that cut and uh, see how it works <laughs> I got this thing cut and it came out pretty good actually, but two recommendations I'm gonna give you. Make sure that you use safety glasses, and especially if you have contacts on, because this stuff flies everywhere, all the shavings from this. But the Dremel tool cut through it like butter until the Dremel tool died. So I basically smoked my Dremel tool. So it wasn't a very good Dremel tool because I wasn't really putting much pressure on it. But it looks like we got a cut now. Um, as you can see there, it's cut down a little bit, excuse me, uh, for my horrible camera work. We're going to go ahead and pull that tape off now. But actually, my wife doesn't really care about how it looks. She says, you know, she's not too concerned about it. But uh, we got it cut down a little bit. We'll take it for a test run, probably see how, how it works. Hopefully it works good because I took quite a few inches off that thing. But hopefully now it'll kind of keep... Uh, that wind from flowing uh, or kind of slowing her down a little bit because we, we did notice that it kind of creates some problems in the wind. Uh, the width of it's also probably an issue, but we're going to keep that there uh, to protect her hands and stuff. But we're going to go ahead and continue sand, sanding it. Like I said, we're going to use various grits of sandpaper on the edge to clean it up and we'll be ready to go from there. All right, so here's the final results on the windshield. You can see how this edge is came out really nice actually um, and I just hit it with uh, I started out with like an 80 grit sandpaper and then I took it down uh, slowly with just different grades of sandpaper down to about I think I used 400 or 600 uh, you can experiment with that however you want to do it but it, it came out really well I'll show that to you I'll give you a front view of that but it, it actually uh, we're actually pleased with it. We took it for a test run. It's at the right level that uh, the wife wants it. All in all, it was a good project. Uh, we got the top edge real even and it, and it worked out really well. So I say that's a win. That's all, we'll keep you posted on our video as far as uh, going on Route 66. Again, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and just remember, I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem.